Some of you know that I recently had to take Larry to the ER, but not everyone knows about it or the details. I apologize. I actually wrote it all out because um, this is just, I'm trying to make this a brief video and try to get through it. Larry's not here to do like the fancy monitors and mics and, and, and everything, so I apologize. I brought Larry to the ER at Advent Health Daytona January 28th. And he spent almost two weeks there. Many tests, spinal taps, MRIs, CT scans. Full body scan, blood work before they discharge him with no diagnosis, saying they could do no more for him. He lost about 15 pounds in about two weeks. He has excruciating headaches, sensitivity to light, sensitivity to the touch of his head, slurred speech, slowed speech. I was told possible Lyme disease, maybe meningitis, organism in his brain. But eventually we were told to seek another hospital. So I brought him to UF Shands ER um, Sunday. <sighs> February 13th. But if we had a set emergency plan, if he got sick, I could have concentrated more on Larry and less on where I'm going to park the RV and how I would get there. Of course, we hope that what we are going through doesn't happen to anyone else, but maybe me explaining what has happened and all the advice I've gotten will help other people not go through this. I hope to have a better video about this when Larry is Larry and um, he does all his edit mag magic that you know he does. For now, I'm at a private campground that I can pay per month near my kids for help and not too far from the hospital. We haven't paid an electric bill in two years because February 11th was actually our nomad two year anniversary. So it, it feels strange, but that's the way it is. Back in January, once we realized he was really sick, I tried to find a place near Shan's hospital because Larry trusts the hospital and the kids would be close. I needed a long-term stay place. Most campgrounds, the private campgrounds I called were booked. We thought at that time he would still be able to tow the RV to the private campground. I reached out to Grand Design Solitude Facebook group that's specific to our RV for ideas about campgrounds. And I was told about another FB group about camping in Florida because private sites often advertise on that page. One of these groups led me to the private campground we are now. I tried to find out who told me about this campground and I'm sorry if you're the person I just, so I could thank you, but I, I just can't figure out who it was. Larry takes care of most of the, well, pretty much all the RV related stuff. I've never towed. And yes, someone actually said in the middle of everything I was going through that ladies, you should know how to tow. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, but even if I knew how to tow, even if I had experience, I was in no shape to tow the fifth wheel. In fact, my son had to drive down and get me and Larry two hours to take me to the ER because I, I couldn't even drive a car. Luckily, I became friends with Doc Chris and Debbie from Fifth Wheel Driver on IG. Um, and I reached out to him. And he was like, boom, I'll tell you anywhere you need to go. Here's Day Inn at Gamble Rogers State Park at the time. And I asked, they said we could move to an emergency spot there. Um, we know about emergency spots because if you saw our leaf spring video, uh, we were at Paints Prairie, leaving Paints Prairie and our leaf spring broke and we had to limp back and sit at an emergency spot while mobile repair fixed it. So that's how I knew about that. Um, almost after almost two weeks, Advent Health wanted to just charge him with no diagnosis. So we planned to go to Shands, our original desired hospital. I knew of an opening, like I said, at a private camp campground because one of the Facebook groups, someone told me about it, but I wasn't sure again, how to move. I just had Doc Chris move me like, I think it was 12 days before and, um, you know, they drove a long way and 
I didn't I didn't want to bother him even though he said he'd he'd do it again no problem um but um someone had reached out to me on the, oh, I think it was the solitude Facebook group our life whirlwind Robin Michelle um, and he volunteered to tow me and um, I just figured since he also owns the solitude his is actually bigger than ours that he would know my rig specifically and um, he he's like an ex trucker owns a trucking truck business so I, I figured I'd reach out to him and he actually uh, showed up with a bigger truck than ours that I, I was shocked and Michelle drives that thing and, and I hate driving our dually so I was I was just like super impressed by everything they did for me okay so um they drove us three hours to our current spot you know dumped dumped us at the state park just like Doc Chris had dumped my stuff at the state park when he moved me from one spot to another and they hooked us up here took care of us and and they were great um, now I don't have to worry about my reservation is up and I have to move I'm glad I wasn't at like a thousand trails when it happened and it's just I'm glad where we are we have the government insurance so our outer pocket is less than 2,000 that at least we made sure of. We have talked to other RVers that don't have insurance. And I can't believe you don't have insurance. you got to have insurance. Plus, we talked about having emergency money set aside in other videos, which we do. And in fact, Scrappy uh, had a vet emergency. And that was another $500. So I'm glad we have emergency money. Once Larry's better, we're going to talk about joining the, the, the Motor Coach Association. Because in one of those uh, uh um, Facebook group someone said hey join them they could help you and I'm gonna look into that we're also gonna uh, have a folder with bills medical info insurance and so on um, Larry's always taking care of the bills so I don't even know when stuff is due plus if Larry and I both were sick my kids would have to do all this and they don't know a bunch of this stuff if we had a backup plan I could have spent all my energy on Larry instead of half of it dealing with the RV. Where am I going to go? How to move it? I also wanted to thank all the people who offered help, advice, or just sent their good thoughts. I was constantly telling Larry about how great everyone was. And um, Larry's looking forward to looking at the stars with Doc, Chris, and Debbie. And Larry really wants to help Rob and Michelle um, with their solar. He, he's like super excited to do that there are posts about Larry on our on our community page and our Facebook group with more details about everything that's happened and just keep Larry in your thoughts just like you guys have I really appreciate it he's really the video guy obviously and I'm hoping next video will be him doing those detailed videos you guys love some people call him the camp czar some people say he does larry lessons some people say he larryizes everything and i really want him to do videos so basically have an emergency folder belong to social media groups specific to your rig and lifestyle and maybe the location you're in at the time don't let one partner like i did take on all the responsibilities know as much as you can have money set aside for emergencies and don't be afraid to reach out for help. I would not have gone gone through this without all the help. This life isn't perfect, but Larry and I have had some amazing times. But if we were prepared, and if you're prepared, if emergencies pop up, it won't be as stressful as what I've gone through. So again, thank you and um, keep the good vibes coming.